If this was the first time, there's a big, big chance that I would burst into tears. A few moments later. Damn. Wow. Hello YouTube, my name is Kim Palipo, welcome to my channel, and I got a brand new reaction video for you guys, and today I will be diving into Louis Capaldi's debut album, Divinely Uninspired to a Hellish Extent, that's a long title, but it's hella cool, so I'm very excited, I've heard like his most famous songs, I'm a big fan of his music, I'm a big fan of him as a person as well, if you haven't seen his documentary, I highly recommend you to do it, I think it's on Amazon Prime, you get to know him in a... Uh, totally different way in my opinion um, and he's a really cool guy really funny guy as well and we all probably know that he's struggling a little bit so hopefully he will be back very soon I don't know if he is back but hopefully he will be back soon and uh, come back stronger and do what he loves which is making awesome music that touches our emotions I'm gonna dive this video into two parts so today I will be listening to probably the first like seven songs and then I will be listening to the last eight on part two so yes I will be reacting to this extended version extended edition I think it's yeah I know this is a very requested video of me reacting to Luis Capaldi so if you enjoy this video you need to like this goddamn video and if you don't want to miss anything on this channel if you haven't done it already you need to subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss me and todd in the background that's the most beautiful penguin you've seen in the entire world right and if you want to say something if you want to tell me your favorite song from this album or if you want to give me some cool background story about a song leave it in the comments but let's get into it and we start with the first song called grace that's a song i haven't heard and I'm watching the music video because I'm getting a lot of that. You should watch the music video. You should watch the music video. So I'm doing it. So I'm gonna try to focus Please, on the lyric. Babe, here. I've done my knee in. You won't mind covering for me today. For Christ's sake, I forgot to tell you all. If we have a banger, according to me, you need to take a sip of something. Today is coffee. I don't have my mug from my wife because I haven't watched it. So hopefully in the next video. So if you are new on this channel, Every time I say banger to a song, you need to take a sip of something. Coffee, tea, water, soda, beer, wine, whiskey, rum. Doesn't matter. Take a sip of something. All right. Jay. I'm not ready to be just another of your mistakes. I can't seem to drown you out long enough. Cool beat. I fell victim to the sound of your love. Till I felt so missing in the form of you Your grace Your grace Don't take it away Alright, we gotta pause here. I have two things. First, I maybe have heard it. I recognize it when I came to the chorus. When it's like, you grace, you grace Otherwise, this is a typical Louis Capaldi song. So maybe I mixed this song with his other awesome work. I don't know. If I'm closing my eyes and just Press play, I hear it directly. Okay, this is Luis Capaldi. And damn, he's so young here. And and it's and the song is not that old. F okay, five years. A lot of things happens in five years. Okay, okay. I thought it was like three years. Damn, I'm, I'm turning 30 next year. We're starting to get old. All right, let's continue. On the verge of almost bleeding you out. I'm not ready to be just another <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but I see Lewis as like one of the most fu funny guy. I see Lewis as what one of the most funniest guys on on the planet, and I can't tell if he's like doing this in a comical way or he's trying to be serious. I'm sorry, but I've seen a lot of clips with him going nuts on like his TikTok and Instagram and his documentary as well. And, and when he does things like this, I can't help it but laugh because I think he's, he's funny. But I don't know if, if there's a bigger picture, but let's continue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He must be joking here, right? He must be joking. Can I get cancelled for so much nudity on this music video? Don't take it away. 
All right. All right, that was the first song, Grace. Um, I forgot to tell you, once again, if you're new here on this channel, I'm gonna score every song, and the score is, is between one to 10. One is the worst song I've ever heard, or 10 is like one of the best songs I've heard this year or in my entire life. First of all, this song. This song is really good. Uh, it's a good start of an album. It's powerful, beautiful lyric, beautiful melody, typical Louis Capaldi song. I wanna know a little bit like the background story if we can no 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 I, i'm not gonna do it I'm, I'm i'm so curious but i guess this is where you guys come in you guys are so good at telling me stuff like what the song is about and uh, why he wrote that song and and or if we don't know what are the theories i like this song i really do it's a very good start of an album i am completely in love with his voice yeah he's so talented i feel that this song might be about don't let anyone bring you down do what you want to do and be happy that's what i think the, this song is about you are good and beautiful and perfect the way you are so yeah it's a beautiful meaning according to me if, if that's how i uh, decide to think about what this song is about so yeah good song really good start of the album and what is my score it's gonna be a high one i can feel it for sure um, and I think, as a first listen, I'm gonna give this song an 8.5. This song is powerful, really good from the start to finish. Nothing to, like, complain about in my, in my taste. Could be a 10, could be, could be a banger, but I, I don't know why I can't say this song is a banger, but it's definitely a really good song, a really, really good song. Uh, strong start of the album. Can it become a 9 or a 10 maybe i'm feeling kind today spread kindness people uh and <laughs> we gonna move on with the next song called bruises this is one of the songs i've already heard and once again we're gonna watch the music video <clears throat> counting days counting days since my love up and got lost on me I've been holding on to hope that you'll come back when you can find some peace I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind But I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind Oh my lord, oh my lord, I need you by my side There must be something in the water Heard this song so many times, still getting goosebumps. But if only I could hold ya, you'd keep my head from going under. Hell yeah. Such a good song. People, people, people. We have a banger. This song is a banger. I've heard it many times and it's still a banger. Holy. Take a zip. I'm not gonna continue until y'all take a zip. Thank you. That wasn't hard, right? This is the first time I'm watching the music video as well. Very strong, very powerful video as well. Um, the song is about, according to me, I think I'm 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 right here, but correct me if I'm wrong. But I think the, the, this is like directly what happens to you after a breakup, after you end uh, a relationship. The bruises, you know, you're you're in pain. It doesn't matter if it's a good or a bad breakup. A breakup, it's, it's always hard. And um, I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind. And, you know, when things comes to an end, that's probably the hardest thing um, to get that person out of your mind because you, you spend some time together and, you know, it's hard. It's damn hard to 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 raise that person. Um, but that's, I think that's the best thing you can you you can try to do, and 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 not and not forget that person, but forget that person at that time, at that moment, because it it won't help you, basically. And I think that's what this song is about. When you are probably at, at your lowest low, when 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 shit falls apart, and the video is very powerful. Very beautiful video. Yeah, takes my breath away. And this song is a banger. 
still is. So yeah, I'm gonna jump into scoring here straight away. I, I saw that the video came out uh, like three years ago, but I think this song is much older. I think th th this was the song that started his career. And what a way to start a career with, with, with this kind of banger. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a 10, people. I'm not gonna hold anything back. I'm gonna give it a 10. Louis Capaldi, eh, Louis Capaldi gets his first 10 of today. Two songs in, banger. Hopefully I can dive into some more music I haven't heard of, like this one. Hold me while you wait. I'm waiting now, saving all my precious time. I think I heard the song. Wait. Hold me while you wait. I wish that I was good enough. I heard it. I wish you cared a little more. Yeah, I heard his song. I heard his song. And I'm actually <laughs> a little bit glad that I've heard this song before and like bruises because those songs are so powerful, beautiful meaning. And we, we, we can hear his sorrow and bruises and, and struggle um, in his vocals. If this was the first time I've heard bruises and hold me white weight, um, there's a big, big chance that I would burst into tears and I can feel it here. And it is a special thing now when I'm reacting and watching the video because I haven't watched this video as well. It makes me a little bit more emotional. They do it right with, with, with the videos as well. And, and this was a very simple video, but you know, just him, a microphone stand, microphone and some clouds in the background. And the song is about, once again, a relationship. Um, I tried to analyze the lyrics because I've heard it before. Never really paid attention what, what this song is about until now. And I think that's also one thing that makes me a little bit more emotional. I don't know if, if this is the same relationship, but I think this is like before the breakup. I wanna, I wanna Google the lyric here. Um, I'm missing my same old us. So tell me, can you turn around? I need someone to tear me down. I wish that I was good enough. I wish I could wake you up. I wish you told me this before. I mean, feels like insecurity in this relationship that probably both know that we've come to an end, but we don't know it, if we can fix it or how we can fix it. So that's my guess, my theory around the song, what it's about. I think this is like before the breakup and Bruce's is after the breakup. But let me know if I'm wrong and let me know if I'm right. Uh, doesn't matter. If you have some cool information about bruises, grays, and hold me while you wait and every song on this album, um, give me, because I don't want to Google. I, I, I did it one time and it was when I reacted to Harry Styles, Sign of the Times. That blew my mind, of course, and I think maybe you enjoyed that reaction when I discovered what that song was really about. But I'd love to chat with you and, uh, you know, you, you, you guys have so much information about everyone. So yeah, back to the song. And uh, what is my score? This song... <sighs> this song is a little banger. This song is a little banger. So we take a, a little sip here. <sighs> Medium hot coffee. I'm gonna give it a nine. So far, there has only been one song I haven't heard, which is Grace, and the next song, I have heard. It's someone you loved. All right, once again, music video. I'm going on during the summer feel there's no one to save me I need somebody to hear, somebody to know, somebody to have, somebody to 
Not done? Damn. I've heard this song before, but I never watched the music video. Wow. Oh. This time, th th this video broke me. It wasn't just the song. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Um. But, but this is not the first time Louis Capaldi made me cry by his music video. I watched the music video before and that video made me cry. Um, I watched it two times. I cried both times and I, I decided to not watch it anymore because I cried every time. Um, but here we are. I'm reacting, so I guess I need to watch it again. Um, I don't know. Maybe I watched the music or the the lyric video. And you you guys can guess which song that was. Um, it was definitely L or obviously not this song. But yeah, beautiful meaning. Um, beautiful video. Beautiful song. This is one of Louis' best songs. I'm completely in love with his music. As I felt when I reacted to Niall and Louis. And so far with Harry Styles, I, I, I feel the same with Louis. I feel the same with Louis. I feel a little bit ashamed that I haven't like gave them 100% a chance. I mean, I, I love Louis music. I do. But I, I've never felt like, oh, I want to listen to the whole album. To, to be honest with you, I like pop songs. I like ballads. Y'all know it because I, 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 I've cried a lot on, on this channel to ballads. But on, on a regular basis, I'm, I'm, I'm listening a lot of metal because especially when I'm at work, um, when I'm at work and uh, have the opportunity to listen to music, I'm listening to metal because there is something about that that keeps me going and keeps me like focused. If you're not listening to metal, this might sound crazy to you that how can you get focused and listen to <laughs> I don't know, but there is something about it, and a lot of my friends does that too, and they agree that keeps them focused and, and uh, can do uh, a better job. But when I'm home and want to listen to music, like really listen, listen, I can listen to this kind of music because that's when I'm like analyzing the song and like hearing some notes or words in a song where I'm like, this was cool, I wish I wrote that song, I wish I came up with that idea. So I guess that's kind of my excuse of why I'm not listening or haven't listened so much to Louis Capaldi. It's because when I'm at work and want to listen to music, this is, I'm listening to a different type of genre. And I, and I actually think that if I listened to Louis Capaldi and working at the same time, I would have been like, so how do you say it? I would have paid more attention to the songs than my work. If I'm listening to this song, I would pay like, 90% attention on the song and 10% on my work. And I think it's the opposite when I'm listening to metal, when I'm working. So that's my excuse, but back to the song. The, yeah, and the scoring. I think I will, I would get a lot of hate if I didn't say banger. 
Cheers. This coffee, the coffee is cold. If I if I gave the song like a seven, y'all w- would be like, "Wait, well, do you have something against Louis Capaldi?" No, I don't have anything against Louis Capaldi. I'm gonna give it a ten, people. I give it a ten. Oh shit! Sorry, <laughs> it wasn't me to. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I give it a ten, people. A ten. Louis Capaldi's second ten on this album. I think I haven't heard this song. I think. I think it's called. Maybe. I've said a thousand things before How come I'm the only one who ever seems to get in my way? Maybe I'm better off on my own Maybe I'm better off on my own Damn his vocals Well, this was a song I haven't heard, uh, which was pretty nice. Uh, and what is my fo- and, and what? A- Why can't I speak? Do you know that, Todd? What you talking about, Willis? In Sweden, we we would call it the uh, Tung Hefta. I like this song. It was um, I think this song was a good contrast to the other songs like Bruises, Someone You Love, Hold Me While Wait. A little bit more like positive vibe in the song but if you are paying attention to the lyrics there's nothing positive in it this song is definitely according to me according to me is definitely about insecurity in yourself like how come i'm the only one who ever seems to get in my way i've been fucking up all good things any chance i can get but everything i touch turns to stone um maybe i'm better off on my own Feels like insecurity about like a relationship, for example, when a relationship ends, maybe you put the blame on yourself. And if you have been through a couple of relationships, maybe that's where you start to think that. I don't know. Uh, I haven't been in so many relationships, um, so I'm not the I'm not the right person to say, but you, you can definitely feel this after one relationship, too. Of course, I'm not saying that it's a it's a good song. It's a good song. I'm hooked. I'm hooked on the song. Um, I like that, as I said in the beginning, that this song had a totally different vibe. If we had like another typical piano ballad that is all misery and sorrow, um, maybe I, I, I would have just sit here and be like, ah, another ballad. Feels like Louis. He, he knows what he is doing. That he knows that, okay, I can't do another piano ballad here. We need to have another vibe in this song. And uh, I think this was very good. A very good add to this album. So, we're going to head to the score. And my score will be... It will be an 8. No song so far has been below an 8. Holy shit, what a great album. So far, we, we are almost halfway through, and this is a, a really, really, really strong start of an album. I like it. I like this album a lot. And I think we're going to move on with the next song, and it's called Forever. Call me off guard. I wish that I'd been sober. Still, here we are, back in Hanover 99. Just like old times all over Nobody said that it would last forever The desert knew we didn't try to get there forever Forever Nobody said that it would last forever can we just take a little moment here and appreciate Louis, his beautiful voice and his ability to write beautiful songs, beautiful lyrics and beautiful melodies. Yeah, I like this song. I really do. And I just want to say I don't think, and it's based on, I have watched his documentary. I don't think he has a girlfriend, but if he has a girlfriend, 
or gets a girlfriend or you know if he meets someone you if you see this this girl take care of this man's heart it's a good thing that you can express yourself in music after a heartbreak we've seen it a million times by a million artists um louis is is one of a kind for sure and we need to take care of it give him all the love i have nothing but love for this for this gentleman love is hard love is really hard um it's a beautiful thing but it's so damn hard at the same time love is beautiful love is a struggle love is pain sometimes i have nothing more to say about this song than give it a little score my score will be an eight once again an eight we're still on a very good run very very good run and we are on the last song for this part i'm gonna divide it into two parts so hopefully we can keep the streak of an eight or higher because the last song is called one how could you let something so good go to waste and bleed the colors out i wish i could say thank you for all the mistakes thank you for all of the pain i guess somebody else's loss is another's gain could say Such good falsetto there. Thank you for all the mistakes. Thank you for all of the pain. Away. Love, 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 people. Um, wow. I haven't heard this song, first of all. Um, secondly, in the verse, the chorus saved it for me. Um, and then the whole song like build up more and more and more and I wanted more. This was, this was a really short song. I think it's a good thing, but I felt at the same time, I wanted a little bit more, um, but I can appreciate it. I, or I am appreciated. Beautiful song, beautiful meaning, especially the chorus with the falsetto and stuff. Wow. Wow, what else can I say then? He knows which buttons to, to press to, to hit the, at least me in the fields. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, he uh, he's dealing with his emotions uh, through songs. So yeah, I really enjoyed the songs I haven't heard. Burst into tears one time. Um, I don't know if this was the last time. Probably not. We will see. I'm going to score the song right away. I'm gonna give it an 8. I know there's many more that has recommended Louis Capaldi, but there's been one subscriber here. Um, her name is Kim, so very beautiful name. My name is Kim too. Um, so yeah, here you go, my friend. And I hope you enjoyed my first part of this reaction. And I hope everybody else here watching this video enjoyed this part as well. And if you want part two, I haven't recorded part two yet. I'm gonna do it, not today, but probably like tomorrow or the day I release part one to see how well this video goes. So if you want part two, you need to like this video. And if you haven't done it already, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it for me, do it for Todd, and do it for my cat. I don't know where she is. She's probably sleeping somewhere. And if you have any thoughts, any questions, something you want to say, you want to give me some cool information about some songs I've reacted to today, leave it in the comments and I will reply to you as soon as I can, as soon as possible. I love replying to you. I love to chat with you, get to know you more. You get to know me more and we can build this little family a lot more. Okay, so until next time, I wish you all a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video. Here comes the hand. Goodbye. Oh! <laughs>